Hi viewers, welcome to Eastern Bioflock Fish Farming. So today we are going to see something different, something inventiveness, something novel technology. So the first time ever in Sri Lanka we introduced this system. Yeah, I think you might have heard, uh, you might have, might have seen this kind of technology, especially called BFT, Biofish Technology. So the Biofish Technology, uh, it was introduced in Israel and USA. It was largely practiced there. But uh, recently in Asian countries, you can see India and Bangladesh, they have been doing uh, BFT technology very efficiently. But first time ever in Sri Lanka, we introduced this one, BFT, Biofish Technology, that our farm is Eastern Bioflux Farm. So you can see uh, one of our tank, tanks here, one of our tanks. This is four meter diameter tank. So if you four meter diameter and the height you can see from this end, uh, four to four, four and a half feet. So we can fill water up to four feet and 4 meter diameter it means uh, you can uh, capacity of this tank 10,000 to 13,000 liters of capacity of this tank you can easily accommodate uh, fingerlings of uh, 1200 to 1500 that is the recommended level of uh, fingerlings for this tank you can imagine you can wonder how it is possible to this kind of small tank small accommodation small species environment how can we accommodate 1200 to 1300 seedlings so if you take this one this is the technology here so first first thing you have to consider the oxygen demand how you can supply the oxygen demand second one is the ammonia level how you can maintain how you can uh, regulate the ammonia level in order to uh, breathe easily and uh, facilitate to the fishes so third one the feed cost and how you can manage the feast uh, compared to the traditional and conventional method how this is an uh, improved one so we see one by one First, the oxygen demand. So that, that is the main, pro, main and major thing. So the part and parcel of this tank is, should be it should be oxygenated by the artificial oxygenation. So we have blowers here, blowers different capacity of blowers you can buy in the market, you can buy online. So uh, if you do that one, four to five tank. If you buy the horsepower of uh, blowers, four to five tank you can easily oxygenate. So artificial oxy oxygenation we are giving to this tank. So the second thing is ammonia level. So how you can keep the ammonia level uh, in order to maintain that one. So that's the main and major part of this uh, bioflux technology. So ammonia level, this is the bioflux technology is coming. You know, before before I am explaining into the ammonia level control, that I would like to say something about BFT, biofish technology. That is mainly, this is a very environmental friendly method. And you can see the super super intensive method environmental friendly so you don't need to pollute you don't need to contaminate your water bodies inland water resources in the land so you don't need to uh, pollute your land algal bloom or any other eutrophication no other uh, effect no other environmental issues that's it, it is highly recommended for uh, uh, intensive as an intensive method so these are the benefit of biofloor fish farming so you need a small space small spaces environment even 10 purchase or 20 purchase of land is more than enough to do a bioflock fish tank. You can build 10 or 10 of uh, 5 tanks, you can easily do. Even if you can do the do this kind of tank, you can build on your uh, 3 store or 2 store building, top of the building, you can do this one as well. So the second part is ammonia. How can you control the ammonia level? That is the major issue here. So ammonia, you know, the excretion, fishes excretion and other things based on the ammonia wastes. So how can you uh, turn up? How can you turn up the ammonia into a uh, good protein or a microbial pr protein? That's the, that's that's where this technology it comes. So when it comes to BFT, you can see the ammonia level can be controlled by micro as usual microorganism, the beneficial microorganism. You know the beneficial probiotic microorganism, as you know, uh, bacillus species, especially the bacillus species probiotic powder you can buy in the market even you can produce probiotic uh, adding uh, rotted fruits and milk a uh, mixing of that one you can produce uh, probiotic in the home level as well so that is the main technology if you add the bacillus species microorganism beneficial bacteria or beneficial microorganism into the uh, uh, bioflock tank you can convert that ammonia into microbial protein so that's a major part that's the most important thing so you have to maintain that ammonia level regular checking by regular check you have to check regularly 
by maintaining pH also you have to like the water quality should be high. So as I said earlier for a feed for microorganisms so for the respiration and reproduction for the microorganism uh, we need feeds we need carbohydrate high amount of carbohydrate uh, molasses cellulose and other other starch sources. So how can we produce that high amount of uh, carbohydrate we can add uh, we, what we are doing here in the eastern biofloc farm we mixing the jaggery 1.5 liter of jaggery mixing the jaggery water and applying to the water each and every water tank or in alternative days so that's the method we are providing food for the bacteria so the bacteria from the carbon ratio you know the cn ratio carbon nitrogen ratio when it comes to bioflux fish farm it should be 30 to 1 so it, it differs it may differ uh, depend on the cult cultivation so stream cultivation it may differ a little bit for here we are doing uh, tilapia cultivation tilapia mean it gifted tilapia you know or oreochromis niloticus oreochromis uh, mozambique those are the varieties available the male and female tilapia both uh, uh, the harmonizing after harmonizing effect both can uh, act both can act as a male so they are they they, they haven't been any uh, reproduction activity uh, depend on that one so we are producing our, but the harvesting period should be five to six months after five to six months we should be harvest this should be harvested unless it uh, the male the female it auto auto turn turn up to be a uh, 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 reproduction pace so we have to stop that one so as i said when it comes to bft that main technology main uh, rationally or the science behind this that uh, microorganism we are feeding to the microorganism by adding carbohydrate and molasses as as i said jaggery we are applying jaggery to this one so as a feed source that microorganism can uh, change the our nitrogen in the ammonia nitrogen into a microbial nitrogen so the microbial nitrogen when it comes to microbial nitrogen it can be fed it can be consumable by the uh, by the fishes and streams so that's the technology behind this one so the so we can control the ammonia level so for the ammonia level controlling the ammonia level we have to maintain the cn ratio that it means we have to apply carbohydrate source regularly so that's a, that's the one thing the feed cost also when it comes to feed cost as i said third one feed so compared to the traditional and the conventional method here the feed cost can be lesser 20 to 30 percent than the traditional method because of the uh, microbial activities and it, it it excretion fishes excretion and the waste stages also turn up to be a consumable nitrogen source so that's the point so 20 to 30 percent lesses of feed cost as well because of the feed conversion ratio fcr is lesser so the feed cost is lesser uh, as an advantage of a bioflock fish farm so after so these are the technology as i said we are supplying oxygen regularly so we need a regular power supply of this one so if any power cut or failure we need a backup power source in order to generate the power regularly so that's one of the main important one cautious thing we will have to look look on that one and the second thing uh, the ammonia level so if you maintain the ammonia level there is no issues the water quality regular check one once a week or a, twice a week you have we have to check the ammonia level you have you can buy the ammonia uh, kit testing kit uh, online or available sources so the ammonia level then it it very easy we can all we people we can grow uh, this uh, bioflock fish uh, 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 fishes on the bioflock uh, fish technology bft technology so we we are very uh, proud to be announce that we today our first harvest for this one bioflock fish one eastern bioflock fish one our first harvest after yeah. six months of time we harvested the first bioflock fish from so the we uh, rare the variety tilapia so we can uh, uh, try other varieties as you know the rohu katla other in inland fish varieties also we have tried sea bass here uh, this is best for shrimp and uh, tilapia variety so i i'll i'll show you some of our harvested uh, sizes so if you accommodate 1200 2300 fingerlings then you may get an average yield of 400 to 500 kilogram per tank so if you if you build uh, 10 tanks you can imagine the uh, a profit as well uh, after the course so first harvest you can't you you just match the cost of production then after uh, first harvest onwards you will be able to get more profit from bioflock uh, fish tank so i will show you how our fishes 
how are fish harvesting? So another hesitation, another fear they have among people that this is 100% organic or just another another matter of broiler chicken or something. But this is, I can assure you, this is 100% organic and natural. Because you know only the artificial oxygen we are supplying, no any other artificial supply. We are providing mash here and ammonia level is maintained by the probiotic. You know probiotic, even, even curd, even yogurt you have probiotic. So only the probiotic bacillus species maintain this uh, natural environment so so when it comes to other river river lagoon other water sources you know pesticide residues weedicide residues uh, leaching out into the that one so running of uh, wastages the algal gloom eutrophication so other uh, other effect as well especially in sri lanka you, you know you know you can consider andhra and polnaru is district there are so many cs uh, uh, ckd chronic kidney disease patient because of this alcohol i don't i can't show that one but the research is still going on because when it comes to bft there is no fear about you know eutrophication or algal gloom very super intensive method you can see this one natural natural uh, naturally and environmental friendly method no environmental issue you can i i, I just close to this tank you can see but there is no smell just uh, absolute uh, just like a water smell i'm feeling like so this is a super uh, organic method so 100 percent this is consumable and i highly recommend this one bft fishes uh, for the future uh, technology so if anybody interested in biofloc fish uh, farming so if you want to do that one you can contact us you can contact us for further advices we can do this one so first time in sri lanka we have done and we have achieved the uh, target we have achieved uh, harvested also i think per time we have achieved almost 400 to 450 kg so uh, one kilo you know 300 to 350 rupees you can calculate then the mathematical calculation rest of things so thank you so much for watching us we will uh, meet you in the next video